to talk about Billy versus Flamingo. If you don't already know who I am, I'm Christian. Nice to meet you. If you do, welcome back. I'm glad you're here. So I actually have two reviews on Billy. I have one when I first ordered Billy, the actual first blind unboxing review. Then I have an updated review exactly a year later. I mean, almost to the date of if I still like Billy. Since then, Billy has started to work with Walmart. So now Billy is currently available in store at Walmart. You can get Billy razors, heads, etc. at Walmart in person. Flamingo mainly does the same thing in person at Target. So I wanted to compare the two since they are kind of matched against each other. You know what I mean? If you have not seen my Billy reviews, you should probably watch them first, one and two, which I'll have link in the description box. Here I'm not really going to go over the nitty gritty with Billy so much as I'm going to go over the comparisons with Billy and Flamingo. First, let's go over costs because I know the costs have changed. When I did my first Billy review, it only cost $9 for the actual razor, a set of blades, as well as the magnetic clip, a holder that you can just put into your shower. That holder comes with a little putty. You put the putty on the wall, you put the clip on that, and it holds it up. I personally have not used the holder at all. When I first started getting Billy, we lived in an apartment. And even though you can put things in and take things out, I tend to be more minimal, so I never used it then. Now in our house that we currently have, I have a actual like rack where I put it in because there's a perfect spot for it. So I've never used the holder. I cannot review the holder, but I will show you the Flamingo holder and show you what it looks like. So with Flamingo, Instead of it being putty, you get this suction cup thing. So if you do have a shower that does not have a place to suction, for example, our shower has tile going around the walls, like big tile stones like this big. They're not like subway tiles. They're like, like ceramic tiles. So these will not suction to it. If you are like me and you have that sort of setup where your tiles or your shower wall is not suctionable, this will not work for you. <laughs> You will probably need the putty just like with the Billy holder. This has a round slot that you slide the that you slide the razor into. I did hear from other reviews that did use this that you have to make sure it slides all the way in. Otherwise, the razor itself will stick to the wall, not to the holder. So that's a pro tip, but since I have not used it, I can't express what I feel about this other than the fact that I can't use it. <laughs> so let's actually go over what's on the box and read it together so you don't have to go to the store and find out all this information. The razor has five blades for a smooth shave, as they say. It fits any handle, so these do come in multiple colors. It's interchangeable, just like with Billy. It's supposed to be ergonomically shaped, protect you from skin irritation, you know, razor burn and that sort of thing. So in the box, you get one razor, two cartridges, and that just means this one and an extra one. Here's the extra one. And then the holder itself that I showed you before right here. You get all of this together at Target for about $10. That is comparable to the Billy Razor set that you get. Whether you do it online or you buy it from Walmart, you will get the same thing. You will get the razor itself. You will get two heads, including the one that's already on the razor, and you will get the magnetic clip the putty inside. They'll give you the putty to hang it on the wall. And yes, that is also $10. So price-wise, it's even for what you get in the box. The difference with Billy blade-wise, it still has five blades, just like this one. But I will say, and you can probably tell looking at it, this one looks a little bigger around than this one. And I think it's just because the blades have more space, more coverage that it can cover, whereas this one has more padding around the edge. I also compared the shaving cream. I have had this shaving cream with my belly for about two months now. It comes out smooth and silky. It's not a foam, this is not an aerosol. It just has a flip top and then you squirt it out. This one is actually an aerosol can. So you open it up and you spray it out and see it still has some residue from it when I used it before. And it is a foam. So it doesn't look like it on screen when I recorded it, but it is actually a foam. 
The size of the Flamingo can is 6.7 ounces, but it's taller because it's an aerosol. It's a little different compared to the Billy, which is 6.5 fluid ounces. Clearly smaller, but this is a whipped cream. The other major difference in these two is price. This one's $8. Whereas this one's only $4.99 at the time of this filming. So this one's obviously a lot cheaper, but this one has the scent, at least this particular one has the scent of lavender and bergamot. Whereas this one, I don't think it was supposed to be scented per se. It does come with aloe vera, but so does this. This is scented, this technically I don't think is scented. And we will talk about that in a minute when I discuss what it was like demoing this, and I'll show you a live demo. Because this one is more scented, I can see why it's $8, whereas this one being $5 about, and not scented, that makes a lot of sense. Let me actually walk you through my demo, and I'll show you what I thought about each side after I shaved. I'll show you my legs, what they look like after I shaved, as well as my armpits, because I did shave both legs and armpits. Taking my razor, my Billy razor, out of the stand, and I'm struggling, but I'm also taking out my Billy Whipped Shaving Cream, which I love. Don't mind my hands, they had paint on them because I was just painting our living room the other day. Getting out of the shower, I dry it off as I normally do. I pat dry my legs after I shave, and then I put on lotion. Now, the type of lotion I use, I use on both sides, even though I use different razors on each side and different shaving cream on each side. So it'll be easy to compare, regardless of the fact that I put lotion on my skin. The lotion I used this time was Nivea Cocoa Butter Lotion, which is one that I like. It's a newer one that I've been using for maybe a few weeks, but I do like it, and I would recommend it as a good basic lotion. Here is what each armpit looks like. So the first one you see, that side is the flamingo side. I do have a little bit of bumpies, but that is normal for me. And this side is the Billy side. There's no hair, there's slight discoloration on my armpit just from over time, I deal with hyperpigmentation. But there's no hair, they're both completely shaved. And here are my legs, the first one being the flamingo side, it was completely free of hair. I did not have any bumps on my legs, which I tend to not have bumps on my legs. I didn't nick myself. There was no razor burn. And the other side is the Billy side, looking just about the same visually. Soft, smooth, no leftover hairs, no razor burn, no nicks and cuts. I will say when shaving, the biggest difference was the actual feel of shaving. I did it as I normally do, both sides. I sprayed the actual cream on my hand, rubbed them down my legs to cover my legs, and then shaved using each respective cream and each respective razor. Right off the bat, I will tell you that this did not smell good. <laughs> It did not smell good at all. And I think it's because it's not scented with anything. It's a strong smell that is semi-unique, but not very enjoyable. It's not musty, it doesn't smell like butt, it's just not an enjoyable smell. Whereas this, because it has lavender and bergamot, it did smell really good. Not super strong, definitely not as strong as this, but distinct enough that it smelled good in the shower. When I shade with the razors, I found that the flamingo razor while it did do a great job shaving I did not have any leftover hairs razor burn any complication this gave me a soft shape however the Billy I would say gave me a silky shade and that might sound like the same thing to you but for me silky is softer more luxurious smoothness than soft and therefore I would say if we were talking about a scale of 1 to 10 of how soft it is I would say Billy is like a 10 and Flamingo's like a nine. They're both really great, they both do a great job, but this one felt way more silky than this one. And that was really interesting to me. I wasn't sure how close it would be. I honestly thought Flamingo might even beat Billy, but it was super close, but Billy just felt more silky, and therefore I enjoyed that more. So what does this mean for you? Honestly, I think it means that you can go with just about either or. Personally, I like Billy for the subscription and the fact that when you 
go shop online, they have a lot more to offer you. That's not just the shaving cream and the razor. They also have dry shampoo, regular shampoo, body wash, etc. They have tons of different options for you. And so it's a very like holistically encompassed brand online. And it's a huge perk having the subscription. So I don't even have to remember to go to the store. I can just have it shipped every couple of months, have the new replaceable razors and add on any sort of add-ons that I need. Whereas Flamingo, you do have to get it in store. They have less available at Target than Billy does because Flamingo's primarily the shaving. Flamingo is kind of a subsidiary of Harry's, which is another brand that's at Target that focuses more on male height. Flamingo does have other things, but they mainly specialize in hair removal items like wax kits and in your hair serums, which I will discuss later because I did actually purchase those as well. It's not really an all encompassing body care brand. You can branch out into other hair removal items if needed. I do think this is more preferential based on what you like and what's accessible to you. You might like just going into Walmart, grabbing your Billy and going home and being just fine. You might like going into Target, grabbing your Flamingo and being just fine. As someone who specifically uses Billy's subscription, I see there's a lot more value in having the subscription for me personally, but you might not want all those things and therefore they're pretty close together. It really depends on your preference. They're both a really good, clean, soft shave. Price wise, it's almost equal. This is of course cheaper, but if you don't want to foam or you can't stand the smell, then having this is a lot better. You don't have to get them. So really price wise, it could be whatever it's up to you since the razors and heads, the first starter kits, are equal in price. I definitely thought there would be one clear winner, but these are very close. You will not be disappointed either way. Thanks again for watching. Make sure you watch the other reviews I have listed. I will actually have a playlist on the screen of all my reviews and unboxings so you can see everything that I've reviewed so far. And also don't forget to subscribe. I'd love to see you in the next video. So I'll see you there, bye.